Hey guys, we are at the 2018 New York International Auto Show. Thanks to you guys, we're running our Patreon campaign. You can help us using the link below and we always appreciate your help. But behind me is a very important car for Nissan, the 2019 all new Altima. It's a completely new car. And let me show you what I mean. This is everything you ever wanted to know about the brand new Altima. Well, it's been a few years uh, since the all-new Altima came out, right. and this is the 2019 model. What have you done to make it an all-new car? Oh my gosh, everything. As you can tell, the entire vehicle has been redesigned inside and out. Exterior styling, the interior styling, two all-new engines, all-wheel drive, ProPilot Assist. I mean, I can keep going for a long time, but well, that, those are the highlights. Let's keep going. All right. So, dimensionally, how does, how's the car different? Yeah, so uh, the, over, the overall length of the vehicle, it's about an inch longer, two inch longer wheelbase. It's about an inch wider and an inch lower. Okay, so it's a bigger car. How about weight? Weight, uh, so in addition to some of that increase uh, in the dimensions, we were able to actually bring the weight down about 18 pounds on a kind of a comparison of the base to base grades. Okay, and the styling, it resembles some of the recent concepts, right? Yeah, absolutely. But, but styling was important, right? Oh, absolutely. Um, obviously the big question is, um, what's going on with the sedan market, with the exploding crossover market, right. right? So there's been a lot of research done into what a sedan buyers want and styling absolutely incredibly important to them. So as you mentioned, the, uh, the V-Motion 2.0 concept car, which came out last year's Detroit show, won a bunch of awards. Uh, you can see a lot of inspiration and design cues from that vehicle have made it onto their production altar. The new car is longer and you can really see it here in the back, especially in the profile view. It looks sleeker much longer and also a little bit lower. You still have dual exhaust pipes out the back and I'm glad Nissan is sticking with a sporty appearance on this car. Under the hood is a base engine which is a 2.5 liter updated engine, CVT transmission, but the star of this car is the new 2 liter turbocharged engine with variable compression which is more powerful as far as torque is concerned as the old 3.5 liter V6 which is completely gone. Okay, well let's talk a little bit under the hood. Sure. What are the engine options? Uh, and the V6 is gone, right? The V6 is gone, uh, but you know, we, uh, we didn't completely walk away from uh, the power. So the base engine, it's, it's still a 2.5 liter four cylinder, completely redesigned, direct injection, improved horsepower. It uh, goes from 179 to 188 with this car and improved fuel economy. Can't beat that, right? Yep. Uh, now the big news is the 2 liter VC turbo which replaces the V6 which is a great engine, the 3.5 liter that uh, we've had for a long time but uh, now you get a 2 liter variable compression turbo engine 4 cylinder which has the performance of a V6, the more compact packaging and most importantly a fuel economy of a 4 cylinder which is, you know, variable compression. We've got some uh, powertrain experts here yeah. just to talk about that engine, yes. uh, but it's incredibly exciting. I've driven the car, it performs fantastically, but at the end of the day, you don't have that penalty of uh, losing on the fuel economy. And the transmissions? Transmission. The same transmission? Yeah, it's, uh, it's Nissan CVT, uh, of course. Uh, continued refinements on the, uh, and tuning and refinements on the transmission. It's on this vehicle for both engines. Nice. And um, have you announced fuel economy numbers yet, or is that coming? Uh, not yet. Uh, what we can say on uh, on the base four cylinder, of course, it's uh, as you saw in the press release, uh, it's improved. We're ex uh, expecting improvements uh, both in the power and the fuel economy. And of course, the uh, on the VC turbo, um, we're saying a very similar fuel economy to the uh, the naturally aspirated four cylinder. Let's talk about uh, technology and the inside a little bit more. Sure infotainment and also safety. Sure, sure. Uh, yeah, a lot of news there uh, start with infotainment. So this uh, car, as you can see physically by the, uh, the IT screen, that's um, the all new Nissan Connect IT system. Um, we saw that actually in the uh, 2018 Rogue was the first to adopt the system. This will be the first vehicle to adopt that actual screen. It's kind of the new uh, floating screen that's an 8 inch full TFT color display. And what you saw in the interior, we actually lowered the overall height of the dash for vis better visibility, 
uh, improved airiness, uh, kind of the improved ambiance within the uh, the car. As a result, as you lower it, uh, you kind of run out of room for the screen. So we, we've actually put the screen right up there. And admittedly, uh, there are other companies are doing that, but it's very purposeful. We're not just following a, a trend per se, but it's very functional as well. Um, with that new IT system, uh, I mean, they've continuous improvements on usability, the just for the customer and everything from the physical reach, the visibility of the icons, the brightness of the screen, the improved um, the operational speed. Those have all been advanced. Of course, the big news is standard CarPlay and Android Auto 100% on all the vehicle on all Ultimas. Um, over there, updates, um, the improvements in the map software for the navigation. Um, some of the, one of the other, you know, it might seem like a small thing, but it's the first Nissan vehicle with a USB Type C chargers. Okay. You'll have actually four total USBs, uh, two Type A's and two Type C's. So uh, we've seen the uh, the market uh, rapidly going towards USB Type C's. Right. Faster uh, charging. A faster charging, yeah. um, faster uh, data transmission as well. Um, in terms of uh, safety, safety. Yeah. safety of course is huge. Um, as I mentioned to you earlier, 10 standard air airbags in the car. In, air in addition to the six we had, we have uh, driver and passenger knee airbags. We've got uh, rear seat outboard airbags as well. So 10 total. Um, a whole suite of safety features available on Ultima. Every, of course, uh, we standardize uh, uh, Ford uh, automatic emergency braking uh, in 18 model year, a year before, so of course that carries over. But everything from uh, rear automatic braking, um, uh, blind spot with cross traffic alerts, uh, traffic sign recognition, high beam assist, all these features are now available on the Ultima. Nice. Yeah. Um, and when is the Ultima going to be available, uh, go on sale? Uh, later this fall. Okay. Fall of 2018. But pricing is not available. Of yet? course, uh, not yet determined yet. Okay. Yeah. The vehicle. The vehicle is basically done. Of course, pricing and whatnot. We're have you driven it already? I have uh, driven it. How does it drive? It, it's amazing. I, I, w I would love to put every everybody here in the car to take it for okay. a spin. It looks amazing. The car drives amazing as well. As, you know, one of the first things we talked about was the dimensional changes. It's lower, it's wider, and that does amazing things for the car itself in terms of how it performs. The combination of the, the new engines, both of them, the 2.5 and the 2.0-liter turbo, uh, the R&D guys, I can't give them enough uh, just credit for what they've done to this car in terms of making it uh, perform better. So you're talking about improved acceleration, improved fuel economy, it's quieter, it handles better, it rides smoother. I and mean, it sounds a little cliche and maybe a little unbelievable, they've achieved it okay. on, uh, on every metric. All right, yeah. well, I can't wait to drive it, so yep. definitely. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Right. There's still a few things that we do not know about the new Altima. We don't know the fuel economy ratings from the EPA, we don't know the pricing on it, and of course we haven't driven the car yet but it's gonna go on sale later towards the fall of this year. And I think it rejuvenates the competition in this segment against the Camry and the Honda Accord. Go back to tflcar.com for more news, views, and real world reviews. And of course, a lot more new cars from the 2018 New York Auto Show.